I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. Junius George Groves was an American farmer and entrepreneur remembered as one of the wealthiest black Americans of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Known as the potato king of the world by 1902, Groves optimized potato growth methods, outproducing anyone else in the world up to that point. His vast financial success analyzed further in Booker T. Washington's The Negro in Business was utilized to help combat racism by providing economic opportunities for other black Americans. Junius George Groves, the son of Martin and Mary Anderson Groves, was born in slavery on April 12, 1859 in Greene County, Kentucky. After emancipation, he received some public schooling three months out of the year, but taught himself to read, write, and understand mathematics. This is yet another example of an amazing person who did not let the institution of slavery stop him from achieving his goals. As a freed man with just 90 cents to his name, Groves ventured to Edwardville, Kansas during the exodus of 1879, where he married Matilda E. Stewart a year later. The couple had 14 children, which was not uncommon at the time. It bears repeating just 90 cents to his name, ladies and gentlemen. 90 cents. Nothing can stop the power of a made up mind. After working as a sharecropper, Groves began purchasing farmland in 1884. By 1905, his holdings included about 500 acres. He and Matilda grew the farm and were able to build a 22-room mansion on the property. Groves purchased and shipped produced most famously potatoes throughout North America. His other financial ventures included owning and operating a general goods store in Edwardsville, stock and mines in Indian Territory and New Mexico, and stock in Kansas banks. He also founded or co-founded the Negro Business League, the Pleasant Hill Baptist Church, the Call Valley Potato Association, and the Sunflower State Agricultural Association. Booker T. Washington, who featured Groves in his book, The Negro in Business, 1907, had high praise for him, describing Groves as our most successful Negro farmer. High praise. By 1902, Groves was considered the potato king of the world. His superior methods led to the production of 721,500 bushels of the crop in a single year, outproducing anyone else in the world to that point. His worth was estimated at $80,000 in 1904 and at $300,000 in 1915. He is considered one of the most prosperous black Americans of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. At the height of his success, he had constructed a 22-room mansion equipped with the latest comforts of the era. Julius G. Grove was known as the Potato King, not just of Kansas, not just of the United States, but the Potato King of the world. He produced more potatoes than anyone else in the entire world. This little-known entrepreneur, known as the Potato King of the world, as mentioned, was so influential that the Union Pacific Railroad built tracks to his property because of his shipping quantity. He also founded the community of Grove Center and sold small tracts of land to African Americans. Groves utilized his wealth and influence to combat racism. During the growing season, as many as 50 laborers, both black and white, worked on his farm. He founded a black American community center in Edwardsville and a golf course for black citizens 
perhaps the first of its kind in the country. Groves died of a heart attack at the age of 66. His funeral, one local newspaper reported, was the largest ever in Edwardsville. He is thought to be buried in Grove Cemetery near the community center he founded. Most people may not grow up saying that they want to be a potato farmer, but many people grew up saying they would like to be a millionaire. On this channel, we'd like to show that there are other ways to be a millionaire other than being an athlete or entertainer. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Yes, folks, Mr. Julius Grove proved that no matter what the condition or what situation you're in, nothing can stop you. When you put your mind to it, there's nothing that you cannot achieve. If he can do it then, we can do it now. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.